21 Pilots and Five Nights at Freddy's. Two things I never thought I would be talking about in the same video. One of my favorite bands of all time and a video game I used to actually watch quite a bit in my teen years. I was there when the game first came out, when it first started becoming popular. Watched a lot of YouTubers play the original Five Nights at Freddy's game. The second one, the third one, which if I remember correctly is the bad one out of the bunch, and the fourth one when they are kind of in a house sort of thing, a return to the form. And I quit watching it, but it's always been super, super popular. I know people the, of my age that still love it. I know people older than me love it. I know people younger than me than love it too. And it's being made into a movie that's releasing this year on October 27th. So why am I telling you this? Why are 21 Pilots involved? Well, across the social media fan base of 21 Pilots, Discord, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, a little thing starts circling around, specifically this thing right here. Sources close to the production of the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie leaked that part of the soundtrack of the movie will be carried out by 21 Pilots. So far it is known that there will be two new songs from the duo. Of course, that's going to grab a lot of people's attention. Two new songs from 21 Pilots? Absolutely please give it to us. Too bad it's all fake. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, hope you're having a good day today. Hope it is going well and hope it continues to go well. Fun fact, I recorded this video one time already and my GoPro mic acted up, so I'm going to try to do this in one take because it is now 1.25 a.m. And so let's go back to this tweet for a moment. Let's analyze it. Of course, it's going to grab the people's attention because people are going to look at that ch verification check mark. Oh, they're verified on Twitter, which means this is legit. Twilight Pies are making new songs for the movie. Well, that used to be the case. Then, you know, Twitter Blue happened, and suddenly you can now be verified on Twitter just by subscribing to Twitter Blue. The ways you get verified is either you're a famous person, you're notable, and or you subscribe to Twitter Blue. And this account, from the looks of it, is subscribed to Twitter Blue. This is their account. This is Will on the Twitter machines. Seems like a very, very nice lad on here. And the fun thing, well, never tweeted this tweet out. You can look at it and the tweet says it is from May 22nd of 2023 and well, made no tweets from that day or that time of 645. You can look at the profile, you can look at the tweets and nothing is there. And if you ask Will, Nothing. Will never tweeted this out either. It took Will completely by surprise. All of a sudden, they just got a whole bunch of new followers. Like, hey, what's up? And someone's like, hey, you're famous. And sent Will this. And yeah, never tweeted it and goes on further to say, okay, I, I know I didn't tweet this because on May 22nd at 645, I was on a, uh, I was on a flight to Japan. I was asleep, all that sort of stuff. So there's no way that Will could have made this tweet as well. And Will included a picture in here, which is basically a confession from the person who made all of this in the first place, which I've censored out because I don't want people to go harass this person because, you know, be kind to one another. But you know what? Go follow Will on the Twitter machine. Will seems like a very lovely lad. But hello, my children. Today we will see the lesson of how to dance a half a click just because I had nothing to do. Read the description of each picture to understand the lesson well. Good morning, and as you can see there, it is a little translated, so half a click might just be clicky in there for the 20 on Pilots community, but basically there, yeah, no, it is completely fake. Or if 20 on Pilots still do a song for the movie. Odds are, I don't think that is going to happen. Of course, 20 on Pilots have done songs for movies before. Of course, most notably for uh, Suicide Squad with her song Heathens, which is one of the biggest 20 on Pilots songs. And most recently, uh, there was reportedly and Tyler said that they were supposed to do a song for the new Top Gun Maverick movie. Then Tom Cruise fired everyone, so 20 on Pilots never ended up doing a song for that. So 
Them doing a song from the movie is definitely not out of an equation, but from when I looked at the movie studio that's making Five Nights at Freddy's, they are known for having these lower budget movies. I think when I Google it, it said something like 20 million or 30 million, which to me, that's still a lot of money that can pay off my loans, no problem. But uh, apparently that's not a large budget in the movie thing at all. All. I mean, to take everything in consideration, you have to film for sets, props, all of the actors, all of the crew, cameras, equipment, you know, post-production, pre-production. Uh, you have to get licenses for certain things, and licenses includes for music, whether you want to just get a, or a composer, do a complete orchestral soundtrack, much like you would see in a Marvel movie or a DC movie or anything super, super cinematic, or you get uh, these bands, you get these artists who license songs for the movies, which is negotiable. That is somewhere between the $20,000 to $70,000 range. I'll leave a link to ASCAP below. It has way more information. I just read a little bit off of there uh, talking about music rights and movies and all that stuff. But with looking how big, of course, the more popular the artist, odds are the budget is going to go higher. So Tony Pots would be closer to the 65 to $70,000 uh, range, most likely. Even beyond that for a bigger artist for like them, I don't know. But would there be enough room in the budget for Tony Pots to do a song? I don't think there would be. If there's a sequel and the first five movies is Five Night Friday's movie is successful, then maybe. That's the way movie budgets tend to be. You start out low budget for the first movie because you don't know how well it's going to be received. You don't know if you're going to make a profit. And if there's a sequel, you're going to up the budget on that because you can, because you made more money from that first one. So I don't think Tony Pots are going to do one. I think Tony and Pilots are too big for the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. I think that it's, if anything, it would be a smaller, smaller band. And also, really, Tony and Pilots Five doesn't fit Five Nights at Freddy's. I guess you could say the same thing about Suicide Squad. But Tony and Pilots with that DC movie that lined up because the popularity was there with the Tony and Pilots community where and where Tony and Pilots is now, where the Five Nights at Freddy community is. I don't think like I feel that's not congruent with each other. So I don't think if there's anything. I do think we might get a song before the next 20 on Pilot album releases, but I don't think it's going to be in the form of a movie. If it is in the movie, probably not the Five Nights movie, in which it's funny because people were like, oh, the 20 on Pilots are going to release end of this year towards fall. And people aim for October because Trench, that's when Trench released, or November because Tony Pass never released a movie in November, which would be really close to when the Five Nights Freddy movie releases. Which, still, no. I don't, I, it's hard to think of a Five Nights at Freddy's movie that ties, or Five Nights at Freddy's song that would tie into the Demon Lord. Tony Pass could probably find a way, but it's also worth noting that currently, right now, Josh, I, I think, is actually touring with Blink-182. Like Josh is just attending every Blink-182 show, which is cool. He's doing what several fans did for the Icing Takeover tour, tours, just going to every single show, which is cool. And I think Tyler is just doing Tyler things, being a dad and recording and writing music as musicians often do. But probably not for any movie soundtracks. Anyway, uh, long rambly thing at the end, talking about why I don't think Tony Pilots are going to be doing a movie soundtrack. Hopefully this audio is better than the first one because I don't want to record this again. It's like past 1.30 now. So I'm at this uh, probably not in the morning. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow with uh, the monthly q and I'll see you on Friday with a new Lovejoy Listens To video. Now see you on Monday where we'll talk about 21 Pilots and the idea of an orange era. Good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> I did my intro. I, I, that's how tired I am. And actually, what's funny is originally in the, in the first take, that's how I ended the video too. I did my intro first. I'm tired, I'm going to bed. Goodbye and good night. More importantly, have a good day and I'll see you later. Can't believe I did that twice.